Hey, Brian Maxwell here, Lakeshore, out here in uh, Slidell, Louisiana, Lakeshore Chrysler Jeep. And what I want to talk about, I'm doing one of my doing a sales training class for the uh, for the dealership here. And one of the things this morning that I really wanted to key on and just ask is, what is the very first thing that you're doing when you bring a guest into your dealership? Now, typically, what most salespeople want to do. They want to bring the person back and run them to the desk and sit them down and then start trying to talk about numbers and talking about that car, car, car. Where the real skilled sales professionals do, when they bring a person in, the very first thing that they do and the very first thing you should do is you should ask them would they like any coffee, water, or whatever type of beverage or refreshment it is that your dealership offers. Let me explain why. When we're sitting down with a guest, oh, excuse my hand. When we're sitting down with a guest, we're expecting them to give us personal information about themselves, about what they're looking for, about where their finances are, is, where they think their credit is. We ask for a lot of personal and private information. Now, under what's called the law of reciprocity, and reciprocity to reciprocate, meaning in order for us to give, we expect to receive and vice versa. So understanding the law of reciprocity, what that means is that every opportunity you have to give your guests something as they come in, whether it be Offering them a, coffee, a, a, a refreshment, a beverage, coffee or water, as opposed to saying, do you want something to drink, which is a closed-in question. Ask them, would you like any coffee, water, Danish, donut? Typically, the response when we pulled it out to over 700 uh, customers is typically, I'm fine or I'm okay. Very rarely do they say no. But you're offering them something. I'm attempting to give them something, whether you're giving them a compliment, offering them a beverage, uh, giving them of your ear. Because if we expect these people to be willing to listen to our expertise, on why they should do business with us, we have to be willing to listen to them first. But it all starts by the sales consultant at the dealership finding a way that they can be a giver. Therefore, when it's time for the customer to give us something, there is a lot easier. I highly suggest, don't take what I'm saying as, as fact, research the law of reciprocity and how it works in sales. Every opportunity you have to give your guests something that's relevant, that's useful, um, even if it's something simple as a compliment, it really helps tilt the, the balance scale. Therefore, so when you ask them to give you something, it's a lot more likely. So the very first thing you should do when you bring a guest into your dealership isn't to try to sit them down and start talking about numbers and vehicles and all that. Find a way that you can be a giver. If they come in and they specifically know what vehicle it is they're interested in, give them a brochure. Still offer them a refreshment. Um, Ask them questions, give them your ear, give them your undivided attention, because that's what we want for them. If you're gonna go out and you're gonna ask somebody, especially on the lot, which is crazy, you know, what type of credit you have? Uh, what, what type of money do you have? Uh, what are you looking for? We're asking personal, private information. They don't know us from a stranger that they just saw that morning. And here we are asking them all of this private information. And that's where the ball gets dropped. That's why people are resistant. They'll tell us, no, they don't have money. No, they don't want anything. No, they don't want to buy anything. Why? Because they don't know you. And due to popular perception from the past, which is rightfully earned, they're terrified, to be honest with you, because they believe you're going to use it against them. So if they go to 10 different dealerships, 10 salespeople are going to walk out to them, ask them, can I help you, which is ridiculous. It's going to bounce them around vehicle to vehicle, trying to maybe put them on the wrong car very rarely gives them their name, never invites them inside, doesn't give them anything. And then when it's time for them to receive something from the customer, they're wondering why this person is so standoffish and so hesitant to give them information. Well, you haven't given them a good reason to. Think about a relationship. If you give somebody your attention, it's a lot more likely that they'll give it back. If you want somebody to start cooking, you should start cooking. If you want somebody to clean, you start doing it first. The more that we give, we receive. And there's a popular phrase that's in one of the most popular books the world has ever known. And it says it's better to give to receive, better to give than to receive. That's not just a bumper sticker. That is the formula for success. So when you're bringing your guest into your dealership, be a giver. Ask them, offer them a, a, a beverage. Would you like coffee or water? Or again, whatever type of refreshment you offer at your dealership. Find a way to give them a brochure. Give them a compliment. Give them your ear. Give them your undivided attention. And I assure you, when it's your turn to ask them to give you something, it'll be a lot easier and a lot more likely that they will realize something you know as a sales consultant we they should know this much about us and we know this much about them because at the end of the day it's not about you or i it's all about them so balance the, the tilt the scale in your favor offer them 
Give them something when they come in. Don't just sit them down trying to do like everybody else, which is get straight to the number. Show them who you are. Show them how you're different than the other dealerships around the area. Because let's face it, I don't care what brand you sell, whether it be Toyota, Ford, Mercedes, BMW. When the manufacturer made yours, the ones at your store, in an effort to make a profit, they didn't stop. So there's other dealerships in your area. All the dealerships buying from the manufacturers for the same price. And guess what? They all sell them for about the same price, give or take a couple hundred dollars up or down. So what's the real difference? You and the experience that we give today's consumers. That's what it's all about. That's all about. They make their decision. They go to 1.5 dealerships. So they're hoping they landed at the first one. But if they don't get that good, warm and fuzzy feeling, they'll go to the second one. And if they don't get it there, guess what it boils down to? All about price. And when it becomes all about price, as a sales consultant, you lose. So make sure you be a giver. Find a way. Look up the law of reciprocity. And another thing I encourage you to do, I've been having weekly, almost every day of the week, online automotive sales training. And it doesn't matter whether you're a green pea or whether you've been doing this for 20 years. The thing about skilled sales professionals is that we know enough about sales to know that we have a whole lot more to learn. So we're lifelong students. And when I meet anybody that tells me, oh, I have nothing more to learn, that's somebody I can point out to you. They only have a very short uh, tenure in, in this business or being successful at all. Everything is evolving. So I highly encourage you, click the link below, Join us on the webinar, How to Dominate at the Dealership, the three ways for you to close 20 sales a month and make $10,000 a month in commissions. And it's loaded, jam-packed with useful, applicable, two-day, real-world techniques to help you close more sales, have more fun, and make more money. So again, I'm Brian Maxwell checking in out here from Slidell, Louisiana. Yeah, the last video you saw me, I was in Louisiana a week, uh, week or so ago, I mean uh, in Illinois. Now I'm in Louisiana. Next week, uh, supposed to be in Florida, and then after that... Texas. But hey, check me out. Get on the webinar. I look forward to having you on there. We really go through some things to help you start making some money, holding more gross and having more fun. I'm Brian Maxwell. Appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you on the webinar. Bye y'all.